Okay, then once you get it rolled out to your single ruler thickness, that's when you'll get your items, whatever they may be. If they're thicker items like macaroni, you're probably not going to want to roll it in too deep because you'll press them all the way through. Same with thicker branches, those kind of things. Be careful how much you're going to roll in. So I'm going to try this one. And also there might be areas of dead leaves that stay in there and you can't really get them out when you're pulling them out. Just leave them. They'll burn out during the firing. So don't spend hours just picking those out. A little bit of wasted time there. So I'm going to set these right in there like so. And I'm going to roll very lightly at first. Creating the imprint into the clay. And then pulling out. For something like these, they're just going to probably fall out like that. And if some stay in there and you can't get them out, they'll probably fall out during drying. It's okay to leave anything that you know will burn out fine in there. But if you are going to lay another piece or something else on, then I recommend trying to pick out any kind of things that would block the other images or the other pieces from going in. Okay, so if that's after the first one, if it does what you want, then you're good. If not, you can add other items as well. And these can just stay in. If you're curious to see what it looks like on those pastas or rice, you can always take a needle tool and pull them out to see if you're getting an imprint deep enough which on these, yes you are, okay? But otherwise those can stay down in. Then you would have this piece and it's ready to either roll into a soft slab vase or you can use this as your front pocket. You could use this as the backside pocket and put something in front of it. Many different ways of doing that.